guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Brianna and today I'm doing a very special collaboration with three very special ladies. We have all decided to do Disney princesses and the people I'm collaborating with are Queenie from Makeup Queenie 68. We've got Arielle from Always Arielle and we've got Amethyst from her channel Amethyst Winters and I've decided to do Belle from Beauty and the Beast. So yeah, let's just get straight into it. Um, today I will be using a combination of Orangey Glad from Colourpop and Aha uh -huh Honey from Colourpop. And yeah, I'm just going to dive straight in and make something that's fairly simple for a Belle look. Um, I'm not going to be doing any crazy um you know winged liners and things like that which a lot of people do for these types of looks i'm going to keep it very simple um, so that you guys can follow along if you would like to and yeah i'm going to talk about the ladies a little bit more and why i like them and we're happy to collaborate with them so let's get into it uh, i'm just going to take sort of a more tapered blending brush and I'm going to dig into the orange you glad and I am going to put the rise and grind shade which is that one there and I'm just going to do it just above the lid if a little bit goes on the lid it doesn't matter uh, as for all my face makeup and my eye base I'll be leaving that information down below in the description box if you would like to emulate what I have going on here so I'm just going to grab a little bit of that so yeah these ladies who are doing the collaboration with me are just amazing ladies uh the first one is queenie from makeup queenie 68 um i've known queenie for quite a while i think i found queenie through kaylee wesley maybe um might have been kaylee wesley um and she does a lot of really cool videos and she does it a big variety of videos as well so she is um, a cruelty free YouTuber. She is doing a rolling project pan um, that involves um, all her non cruelty free products. And it's actually quite interesting um, to watch and actually see what is and isn't cruelty free. Um, I'm not cruelty free at this stage myself, um, but I think what she's doing on this platform is fantastic and spreading the knowledge of what is and isn't. Um, and yeah, it, it's amazing to see her progress with those products um, and her trials um, and tribulations and ups and downs with some of the products. Um, she's also on a health kick at the moment. She is um, making a lot of really nice healthy meals at home with her husband. And yeah, I am enjoying just all the new variety um, of content that she's got going. She does a a few new releases as well um, or interesting products um, yeah so she's a really cool youtuber to watch if you like a little bit of everything you know what I mean if you like a little bit of lifestyle a little bit of beauty um, yeah she's pretty cool like that so I've just laid that rise and grind um, shade I'm going to do a little bit of the you peel me so just to deepen it's just going to go over the top and it's just to deepen it and I'm using that same blender brush as well so the next lady is Arielle from Always Arielle. Um, I found her through um, Queenie actually, I think. So it's sort of like a, it's sort of like a pattern. Once you know someone, you get to know other people and other people. Um, I'm not sure if they did a collaboration together. I think they must have done a collaboration together, um, and that's how I found Arielle. Yeah, Arielle is. She's really big on the new releases um, and also just reviewing makeup as well. She does a lot of drugstore reviews. She does um, sort of a full face of one brand. So she's done Milani. She's done Essence. She's done quite a few different ones. Um, and I find them just fantastic um, and very interesting. She's done her whole eyeshadow palette uh, collection video. Um, well, she did, I think, about four videos of her eyeshadow palettes um, and she did all the swatches and everything. It was just amazing. The amount of effort um, and time that went into that was pretty good. And she's also on a makeup no buy at the moment and she's doing pretty well. She's posting updates fairly regularly, I think weekly at the moment. 
um, just updating um, throughout the altar 21 days of beauty she was updating us um, on how she was going with that yeah it was it was a really good um, well it has been a really good series thus far yeah so I think I'm done with my orangey glad palette that's all I needed from that we're going to go into the uh -huh honey palette now um, and I'm actually going to lay down uh, I'm thinking hmm let me just do a swatch I need to just swatch two of the golden shades ah okay so I've got dandy on actually queen bee on the left dandy on the right um, and I'm looking for an ideal lid shade I actually think queen bee is going to be good I was about to do dandy um, but I thought it might be too light and I might actually want to do dandy as the inner corner um, highlight yeah so I'm going to lay queen bee on the lid of the eye um, and make it sort of pop a little bit more I need let me find that brush I'm just going to use the Urban Decay Naked palette brush but yeah everything is going to be down below guys if I if I don't mention it and I'm going to use the Colourpop All Star setting spray and I'm going to pop some of that Queen Bee on now who's next yes so the last lady I'm collaborating with is Amethyst now, Amethyst joined our collaboration a little bit later on. Uh, she was actually looking to do a collaboration with Ariel. Um, and, yeah, we sort of thought, hey, why not just join our collaboration? Um, we're more than happy to have you on board. And I already knew Amethyst, and I think it was through Ariel or Queenie as well um, that I found her channel. So, yeah, it was pretty cool. Um, Amethyst does a wide variety of uh, content on her channel as well um, she's posted well she posts makeup tutorials of course um, she has posted um, some of her um, you know her sons playing video games um, which was quite cool because it was super mario i think um, or mario kart and i loved that game when i was a little kid I thought that was amazing um, and she's also a author I believe I think she writes in her spare time and she does some like sort of book content and movie content so she talks about like books that she wishes um, were movies or would be good concepts as movies and books that she enjoys that don't get enough love um, you know in the mainstream yeah so she is just she's awesome she's a really cool and unique content creator she's still quite new to youtube um but so far she's just going you know going big gun she's she's really doing very well on this platform and yeah it's awesome to see so the next shade i'm going to do is the sunburst shade and that is going to go in the inner corner um, of the lid yes just a little it's a little bit of a lighter gold and I like that for an inner corner Ooh. my lash isn't cooperating today there we go so I liked that gold and sort of that deeper orangey tone together because it does remind me of Belle it reminds me of the dress um, that she wore in Beauty and the Beast and I just thought it was a really cool um, tonal shift now just on the underneath on the lower lash line I think I am going to ooh, what should I do for the lower lash line I think I should take something like sort of like a mustardy shade the O behave and I'm just going to take it on that same brush that has that little bit of shimmer just to give it that it sort of marries it all in yeah I like that that's good excellent so yeah, I actually approached Queenie and Ariel with this idea, which I normally don't do. I tend to be the person that people message and go, hey, do you want to do a collaboration? Or hey, do you want to join this collab group? I am never the one with the ideas. I rarely have the ideas. 
Um, but I thought it was such a good idea because Queenie obviously is a queen um, and Ariel to me looked like she reminds me of a princess basically and like in, in the nicest sense of the term I don't mean that in a derogatory sense whatsoever um, and amethyst well amethyst is a purple gemstone and yeah purple um, has been coveted by royalty for you know hundreds of years so it all just sort of worked really really well um, and I've been wanting to do something like this for a little while like I've been thinking about it for a few weeks and I was like eh, why not let's just throw it out there and I haven't done I think I've done collabs with Makeup Queenie in the past in big group collaborations but I've never done a collaboration with her um, with a smaller group if that makes sense and I've never done a collaboration with Ariel or Amethyst so yeah it's going to be a really cool um, thing to do and see yeah and please once you're done over here go and check out the ladies um, I will leave their channel links down below and their videos will be up when this video is up so I'll be over there watching with you and yeah, they deserve the support and the love most definitely. So please, please go and support them. Um, you know, as I always say, I collaborate with people that I like and that I believe are making great content on this platform and that I respect. So please ooh, go check them out. Sorry, I nearly poked my uh, eye out there. <laughs> I'm actually using a mascara that Queenie got me on to. It's the Essence Lash Princess Mascara. Uh, so it's got the green writing. And I absolutely love it. I haven't tried the waterproof one yet, which is the blue writing. Um, so if any of you guys have tried it, please let me know. I'm just going to fix some of the darkness. Hang on, folks. Just fixing some of the darkness on this uh, I could have done this off camera but um, I just want to make sure that you guys see the awesome look before I go off camera <laughs> all right literally just going to just gonna dab it there we go that's better love it excellent 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 so yeah this this mascara is amazing it does actually look like false lashes um, to me anyway um, I've already got fairly long lashes and fairly voluminous ones but um, it's good to have a mascara that just lifts looks a little bit more if that makes sense now the last step is the lips and I have to use my Disney Princess collection bell lipstick and lip gloss so yeah the lipsticks called Belle it's the cream luxe lipstick and then the lip gloss is called last petal so yeah it, it's got to be I mean what else am I going to use huh so let's get into it mm. I love the color. It's perfect. It's the perfect ready pink. Mm. One swipe color is just gorgeous. It is really, really nice. I really do like it. And then last petal. I'm just going to dot it along. Just dotting it. I do this with all my lip glosses. I just dot it like that and then I press. I find it gets a more natural result. Hmm. 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 What do we think? I think this looks fantastic. I might even just blend that little bit of mascara that's gone up here. I might have to might have to fix it a little bit off camera but I love it 
Don't you reckon, guys? I think it's fantastic. Let me give you proper close-ups. So there's the eyes. Side view. Other side view. There we go. Yeah, so that's all that done. Um, thanks again to Queenie, Ariel and Amethyst for saying yes and wanting to do this collaboration with me um, and liking the idea that I came up with. Thank you so, so much. Um, and yeah, once again, guys, please, please, please go check them out. Um, and if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please do that as well. If you are from one of the other ladies' channels, please let me know down below. Um, and if you are, if you do have your own channel, sorry, um, let me know that as well. I'm more than happy to subscribe back and support um, other small creators. And yeah, that's about it from me. Thanks again for watching. Take care. Bye, guys.